Hi everyone, this is Susanna from collegemapper.com. This is a video about your summer activities, particularly in 9th, 10th, and 11th grades. So you have the opportunity in the summer to explore your own interests and learn about anything that you want to learn about, which is awesome. The summer is awesome for that. You could, in the course of doing that, discover a whole new passion. It could change the course of your life if you just explore and poke around and see what's out there in the big wide world and learn. Who knows what's going to stick? Who knows what's really just going to light your fire and change everything for you? So when you're in ninth grade, these plans are sort of optional, you know, because you're still a little guy, you're young, you're just getting on your feet in high school, but they sure are fun. So I encourage you to use that summer between ninth and 10th grade to explore and to learn. You could go um, to camps, workshops, you could have a job, you could do volunteering, you can do independent studies on any subject you want, like beekeeping, gardening, model cars, World War II, glass blowing, anything really. When you're in 10th grade, it's a good idea because to do a summer activity of some sort because you want to explore and find out what you might like to major in. So start to think about, hmm, what might I like to do when I grow up? And start to talk to people. See if you can do some job shadows. Do some career exploration. Take a few of the uh, like, um, major quizzes online. There are several online. They're free. And they take five or ten minutes and they show you some jobs that might be good for you. We recommend some on the blog. And then um, another reason when you're in 10th grade that I really recommend you get out there in the summer is because if you do really like something, then you can continue it in the 11th grade and that will really help you with your own personal self-discovery, but it will also help you for your college apps because it's really nice to write about something that you did more times as opposed to just one time or for an hour or something like that. When you're in the 11th grade, Summertime activities or plans of some sort, even independent reading, guys. This doesn't have to be a, a camp that you have to pay for. It could be even just independent reading can count as a summertime activity or a part-time job at a local pizza shop can absolutely count. But when you're in the 11th grade, these things are not optional. You really need to be exploring your majors and your possible careers, interests and passions because you will be asked on your college applications in just six, or <laughs> yeah, in just a year's time, what you think you might like to do. So this is the summer between junior and senior year is really optimal time for you to be starting to really think about that. If you have any more questions, just post them in the forum on College Mapper and you can create a personalized timeline to apply to college right on the website. Yay college.